Hi, my name is Scarlett and I'm from Honduras. Mosai chapter 10 talks about the effects that ancestors can have on many generations. I care deeply about providing a good future to my children and my grandchildren, but how do I make sure that those same values are passed down not just to them, but also to posterity that I may never meet? I think this is one where you can't ever make sure that they're going to do it. Right. Right? Everybody's got their agency, and that's important. Yes. And God is patient with us. We right. can be patient with each other. It, it may be a long path, but you got to make sure they can get it somehow. In this story, we're starting with Limhi. We're starting with that third generation and going backwards. And the reason we know that his grandfather had had started well and with good intentions is because he wrote yeah, them right. down. <laughs> and I think this is one of those examples where by recording our thoughts, recording our feelings, we give somebody an opportunity and there's a thing they can turn to and hold on to. I'm super grateful. My great grandparents didn't ever learn English. I have fond memories of sitting with them, watching Bollywood movies. <laughs> um, and I remember my, my grandma's war, great grandma's warmth and all those things. But, but yeah, we just spoke different languages. But before she died, she did a lot of uh, interviews with my grandpa, her son, that then my aunt uh, took time to, to write down and get translated into English for us. And so I can learn from their wisdom mm -hmm. and from their experience, even from a distance, right? And that's, that's that fourth generation. And I still tell my wow. kids those stories and I still have the book on yeah. my shelf. Same experience. I, um, I journaled and I even blogged uh, from prison. I was able to do that. It was a little <laughs> tricky, but um, it allowed, what, what it did is it allowed me to express myself, but it also allowed me to connect with my children and my community in a different way. So someone at school would say, hey, I read what your mom wrote. How she, you know, what's going on? And it just created this beautiful connection. And I, how valuable that's been to me now, to be able to go back and go, look at the progress, look at where I was, and then to pass on to future generations. So I love that. I think that's you know, so important. And the other thing that I just can't reiterate enough that I have come to know is so important is that I have to stay firm in my faith. When my kids are struggling or my grandkids, I am that covenant keeper. I am the one that holds it together. I think I see parents all the time that get lost in their kids' struggle, right? Like, my kids are hurting, what am I gonna do? That's when you stay the firmest, or at least that's what I'm trying to do, stay the firmest. It's really easy in the difficult times to not wanna write no. and not wanna record right. things. But so often in history, it's, it's those records, mm -hmm. right? The records of the difficulty and yeah. the uncertainty and Zenith asking, did I even make the right decisions? Yeah. That's what's gonna speak to somebody later. Mm -hmm.